These are my best settings to export and render your video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You can see here, I have a three minute video, basically two minutes, 59 seconds. Let's go ahead and click on the export tab. Now you can see right here, all this noise on the left here. I've learned just to ignore that. And let's start up here, this export help. We do want to render from the timeline. And you can see right here, I have this box checked, used hardware encoder, but hold that thought. We're going to get back to that. First, we want to go to advanced. And then you can see right here, yes, again, from the timeline, again, this checkbox, we're going to come back to that, but let's go to video. You can see I shot this video in 1080p, 1920 by 1080. The aspect ratio 16 by nine is right. I usually sh shoot at 30 frames per second or close to it. And then all these defaults, progressive, the deinterlacer and the interpolation, I just keep those as is. The next step is we want to click on the codec tab. Now you can see right here, we're gonna go straight to quality. This is the default, 55%. For me, I change this to 80% when I shoot in 1080p. Now this GOP, that's default at 150 frames. I go back to video and I see I shot about 30 frames per second. So let's go back to codec. The GOP, I wanna do half of my frames per second. So that'd be 15. So if you shot in 60 frames per second, you would want to change that to 30, so on and so forth. The next setting is B frames. YouTube likes it when I change that to two. The codec threads I leave alone, so I don't even worry about that because we're all about just getting our video rendered and up to YouTube. The audio I just leave as default and everything seems to sound just fine, so don't even worry about that. Now that we have those settings set, let's talk about this use hardware encoder. I'm going to click advanced again, just to get to this default right here. So by default, when you first start to render videos, this will be unchecked. And what does that mean? Well, the hardware encoder is if you have a discrete GPU, and if you don't know what a discrete or dedicated GPU is, it is this. In my rig, I have a 2070. And what a discrete GPU is, is it helps with your video output. It helps you to render videos quicker and faster. Uh, if you're into photo editing, it just makes everything much smoother as you're editing or scrubbing through your timeline or doing photo editing. So for me, I'm gonna check that box. I'm gonna configure it and Shotcut automatically finds the correct settings with these two check boxes. So I'm just going to click OK. Now, if you don't have a dedicated or discrete GPU, then you won't be able to use that. And what it means is that when you do render this video, it's going to be all CPU bound. So if you've ever tried this, you can tell that when you do render a video, all the fans ramp up in your computer or in your laptop. And it means it's just stressing out your CPU. It's not gonna hurt it, but it'll just take longer to render. So for me, I'm checking the hardware encoder just for my GPU to do the heavy lifting. And now we're ready to export files. So I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna click the drive where I wanna save it, and I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the hardware encoder versus a non-hardware encoder. So again, I'm rendering a three minute video and we're gonna see how long this takes. All right, using my hardware encoder, you can see it took 45 seconds to render this video. I wanna show you the flip side if I do not use it, which means I'm gonna be using just my CPU to render this video. Again, there's nothing wrong with just using your CPU. It'll just take longer. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the difference. And there you can see there, I rendered the video without the hardware encoder, and you can see it took a minute and 17 seconds. So it took about 30 seconds longer to render the video. The video quality is all the same, but you can see the difference of what that checkbox does for you. So if you have a discrete or dedicated GPU, make sure to check that, that box of using the hardware encoder. And that is it, my friends. I hope this video helped out a little bit. If you know a better way to render and export your video, please sound off in the comments. 
I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my other shot cut tutorials. I'll leave a playlist right here coming up right now. Peace out, everybody.